um, I welcome the bill. I think it's a, a vital piece of legislation to protect workers' rights. I was struck by the comments of former Minister Kelly when he talked about this side of the House joining the Labour Party's track record on these issues. The reality is the reason why we're here and why this legislation is necessary is precisely because of the hollowing out of workers' rights which took place under the last government. And as a result, Ireland has become one of the worst offenders in terms of precarious employment and bad jobs, the highest level of low-paid work in the EU, and second uh, to last in terms of EU uh, wage inequality. Insecurity, lack of being able to plan your life is causing huge stress to Irish workers and it does affect mainly women, migrants and younger workers. And the bill does attempt and is very welcome in trying to ensure that workers are offered contracts that reflect their actual working week. In other words, that if you consistently work 20 hours over at least a six month period, then as a worker, you should have a right to ask for a contract that reflects that. And I just want to give two brief examples. It's not about one workplace or one industry. A woman in her 40s, two child dependents, she's worked nine years at the same retail outlet. Her contract is for 16 hours over four days, but she can be asked to work extra hours with very little notice. She's asked for her hours to be over three days so she could qualify for social welfare. Management refused. She wants to work. She wants to work full time. Her employer won't allow it. When somebody on 16 hours left, the jobs were not offered to her. They were offered to two people on eight-hour contracts. There's one full-time worker in her job. The rest are in part-time employment. Another, an employee in a German multinational retailer, guess who it is, in the Dublin city centre, spent six years on a 10-hour contract but actually worked 48 hours each week. He had the gall to make a complaint about health and safety, about a fire escape being blocked. The consequence, his hours were cut back to the 10 hours and he was told to suck it up. The culture of bullying and intimidation has to stop. There are over 100,000 workers affected by this. This is a vital Thank piece of much. legislation uh, on the road to correcting to that. Deputy Matthew McGrath.